Hello, everybody. Welcome to a playthrough of Battle Taboots. Well, yes, this is a very difficult game, I'm sure most of you are aware, and I just recently beat it for the first time legitimate, so... I figured I'd give some pointers on how to beat it or what my strategies are. So you, too, can suffer this game. Level 1 is nothing to write home about. It's just, like, your standard, uh, intro level. Gets you used to everything. Probably your best attack in this game is the ram attack, where you just double tap any direction. Left or right, and then you hit X, or whatever your attack button is. Then, yeah. That's normally how I defeat most enemies with the ram attack. Points are actually really important in this game, because you can earn uh, up to 9 lives, because you can only get, get up to 900,000. Like, your score cap's at 999999, so... Wow, my character actually ate the toad. This guy, just knock him and then wait here. Because he'll come back. Yep, and then this guy you can just uh, kill into the pit. Goodbye. Alright, hit him into the pit as well. And then it's very important that you don't miss that one up. You just gotta align yourself with it. Cause trust me, you're gonna need all the lives you can get in this game because this game unfortunately has limited continues. That somehow hit me. Alright, I'm not too worried because all I have to do is just pick up the rock and throw it at this, this giant robot. It's pretty easy. Nothing too complicated, level 1. We're just gonna skip all that, and then... Level 2 is not so bad either, but this level is very important because this is your best chance to gain 1-ups. So, I don't remember how many hits it takes, but like... 5 or 6, probably. If you juggle these crows enough times, you'll get a 1-up. Not able to do it well right now, unfortunately. And if you hug the wall and stay a little bit, you'll turn into this, like, wrecking ball, I guess. Alright, these crows with the beaks, when you kill them, you can grab their thing, and it makes it a little bit easier to juggle. After the 10,000, yep. Just be careful, because they can insta-kill you. Got another one off. Might be able to get another one here. There you go. Just got three one ups. If you do the wrecking ball strategy, it'll instantly kill these guys. Bada bing. Oh. Just be careful because they shoot electricity and it does like half your HP. Ah, fucking crows. Yeah, it's kind of hard to juggle them when there's like multiple crows in the room. I mean, honestly, if you can get three lives, it should be pretty good. And you might be able to get a fourth because of the points counter. Because again, every hundred thousand you get. Oh, might be able to get another one? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I think I've gotten five level one ups in this level alone. That's also why, if you're gonna beat this game by like, using the warps, I would not recommend taking the warp in level 1. Because this is a very, very good opportunity to get 1-ups, as you can see. Uh, I'll grab these just in case. But also the important thing is you don't want to die in this level. Alright, I normally do not do that well getting the 1-ups. I'm like, cracked right now. I'm actually very surprised at how many 1-ups I've gotten. I normally do not do that well. I usually am able to get like 3. Oh my god. Alright, when those 3 flies come about, that means this guy's gonna come. But you just do the Wrecking Ball and instantly kill him. Make sure you do that because he's a pain in the ass to fight. He just takes a lot of hits if you don't do it that way.
Yeah, you just want to kill one of these guys. You do not want to try and juggle. Ah, oh, man, I could have gotten another one of. That's man. Because trust me, you're going to need all the lives you can get in this Forsaken game. Because, especially because of the level coming up. Yes, the dreaded Turbo Tunnel. <laughs> Got another one up. There's unfortunately no extra lives, but I... You get points. I think you get like every hundred... Like you get a hundred points per second or something like that while you're doing the Turbo Tunnel section. Alright, these guys, you just want to ram into them. For an extra 1,000 points. Make sure you ram these guys because it'll stick them in the ground. If you're just trying to fight them normally, like, they're gonna gang up on you. It's very frustrating. Yeah, I... I was having a very difficult time in this game, like... When I didn't know about the ram attack. The ram attack is very useful. Make sure you stay towards the middle, because... For some reason, your character can just, like... Get a kick animation, and it'll actually carry you off the platform. It's very infuriating. And trust me, you do not want to lose a life here. At least on the prior second, because this is the hard part. This is going to be interesting to do live. I'd just say the first three sections are pretty easy. I think you should be able to handle it, but... It's the last two. I mean, the last one is the infamous one, but the fourth one can be a little tricky if you don't know how to properly handle it. I, you can also see my score going up, so I might be able to get an extra life here. It depends if I die or not. Hopefully I don't. I might be able to. I don't even know how many lives I have right now. Ooh, don't do that. Also, try your very best to not misalign yourself, because... Yeah, you can fall off, which is very annoying. Like, you can fall off here if you just slightly adjust it. My god, this is a lot harder to do while talking. <laughs> Okay, those blue ones, when the blue ones come up, that means don't jump. I think we're on section three. Oop. Now we got blue ramps, so that obviously means jump. Alright, these you can just kind of stay in the middle and jump over. There's no reason to move. Oop. And there's gonna be one that's in the middle coming up after this, I think. No, I misremembered. Okay, yeah, that that one's the one in the middle, so you just move up and left. Oop, sorry, sorry about that. I just got an email about something. I think this is section four now. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get another life. All right. Okay, oop, I kind of touched the thing. I hope I don't fall off. Okay, cool. Here, you just want to kind of camp the upper left corner, and then. Push forward when the third one comes in, and then here, just make sure towards like the end when you jump, like leave it for a second. Okay, this is the hard part. <laughs> I don't know if I can really give advice here. The best advice I can give for that is just, once you're moving, you just keep moving, don't stop moving. Yeah, that makes no sense. Just basically keep moving up and left, like, up and down. That's all I can really say. It just takes practice. There's really no uh, secret to that. No secret cheats or anything. Alright, this level's not too bad. It's just kind of long. That's the hard part about it. You can just kind of run through these guys if you don't want the points or deal with them. Because they can insta-kill you if, you if you go right next to them, which is very infuriating. Oop. It's fine, we'll get it. This guy can ram for easy 2,000 points. Get the fly. You just kind of want to hug the walls once you see the snowball on the opposite side. Alright, if you ram him. If you don't ram him, he'll take like two hits to die, so i just rather ram him and insta-kill him. Yeah, here you just want to inch your way forward. Oh my god. That's not how you do that. <laughs> You just keep running, and then just you can just kind of chill down here. Oh. 
There we go. Alright, now you want to wait for the platform here. Duck. As soon as you jump on the platform, is it that guy? When you jump, just hold right. You'll be fine. Okay. After he throws his, like, two rapid ones, then you go in for the kill. Alright, here I like to jump, and then he'll throw an under one and then go, because I usually forget about this part. Alright, and then when he throws his low ball, go in for the kill. There we go. Okay. Duck there, and then there's a free one up here. Please make sure you get that. There's gonna be more shells here, it's not that bad. And then here I like to wait. Yeah, wait for this ice cube to come and then pick it up. And when you do it this way, you don't have to deal with that shell at all, because it, it'll eventually catch up to you. Alright, what's up here? Yeah, I like to run here a little bit just to spawn the shell in. Oop, that was close. Alright, it's fine. This is probably the hardest part of the level. You gotta wait till like the very last second to make that jump. Yeah, you gotta you gotta wait till like the last second to make that jump like all the way down. And this guy will throw three snowballs and yep. Right here you get extra points, just be careful because yeah. Oh I thought I didn't make that for a second. Make sure you don't just tap the jump button, don't hold it because you're gonna insta die to the spikes. Because why not, right? Alright. And then here you just kinda wait for the shell. So once you hop it, you go, and then this is the end. With that, we got level 4 down. Yeah, level 4 is not that bad. Alright, Surf City is next. This level can be a bit tricky. I'd say the second half is probably harder than the first half. If you know what you're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you see the fourth log, just stay up. And then move down, move oh, move up, and then these are the last two logs. There you go. Move to the middle now. I oh I got that. Yeah, you need to like make sure you bounce and then hold the right to get that one up. Here you just alternate up and down basically. And then that should be the end of that part. Yep. Man, can I just see how good the music is on this level? I love it. Alright, here we just... Free two kills. These enemies aren't that bad. It's very important, though, that you uh, pick up the weapon that they drop. Very, very important. I'm just trying to kill him on screen to get some more points. Because unfortunately I think I can only get four more lives to the point counter. Alright, here, after you kill the second guy, like, inch your way forward and then you get those flies and then inch your way a little bit more forward because, you yeah, it's a boss and you don't want the stick to drop so far away from you. Alright, this guy's a little tricky. I need to, like, get him to the right side of the screen. There you go, like that. And then I just like to spam the X button. Or attack button. Sorry, I'm playing on a PlayStation controller, so like I don't know. Oop. All right, yeah. You just do that. That's why the stick is very important for that. All right, this is probably the hardest part of the level because these mines will insta kill you, and this shit gets really fast. And also, it's RNG based. All right, the first part's not bad. The second part. And third part are terrible. Because, yeah, this is... Can't really give you advice, but other than to keep moving. And then here you want to make sure you stay in the middle and speed up, because you want that 1-up. Okay, first death, that's fine, though, because we can just re-get that 1-up. That's fine. There's nothing I could have done about that, really. I tried to pull back, but, you know. It's just Battletoads being Battletoads. <laughs> Yeah, this part's really difficult because of how fast it goes and you just don't know where the mines are going to spawn. Alright, I think the platform's coming up. Yep. Go forward, get that one up, pull back as best you can. Yeah, I fucked up there. I'm doing really bad on this part, but it's fine because I'm getting that. It's basically infinite retries. 
Oh my goodness. I'm also getting some really bad, like, mind patterns. Jesus. Yeah. Like, if you thought the beginning part of the level was bad, nah, this is the real hard part because it's just insta kill. At least the logs don't insta kill you. There we go, got the one up, so it's basically. Alright, finally, I get a good set of mines, Jesus. This is the last part. There's only like three mines to dodge. Yep, alright. I'd say that was pretty good. Could have done better, but it's fine. Alright, level six. Pretty difficult, actually. The third tunnel is the hard part of the level. This first part's like just to get used to it, and I believe you can only get like 20,000 points in this level because there's no other way to get points or one ups. However, though, if you're using warps, I would recommend using the warp in the second tunnel. I skip level 7 because my uh, level 7 is. Jesus, I hate level 7 so much. I don't even know how I'm going to do that live. Alright, anyway. That's that tunnel. Now, unfortunately, we screw up and then you die, pretty much. Because there's spikes at the bottom. This also takes some, like, memorization and repetition, unfortunately, so... I mean, you shouldn't have trouble in this tunnel. Here, I like to double tap and sprint just to dodge that spike. Because there's also spikes on the ceiling, so jumping is a little risky. Right here, you just want to jump. Here, you want to wait for them to come back, and then I think there's one more snake. And this one's really fast, but the tunnel is right here. Oh, we're gonna get another one up if I get through this without dying. Okay, this is probably the hardest tunnel. There's. Four, we're on the third one, so yeah, I'd say this is probably the hardest tunnel. First two snakes aren't that bad, it's just... Oh wait, is this the snake? Oh yeah, this, okay, this is the hardest part of the level right here. Making that jump. Oh, I'm trying to think of advice to give while I'm doing this. Uh, obviously, don't don't hold... T I like to tap the jump button, I don't hold it, just because... And you can kind of click to the bottom of that spike, but yeah, it's a pretty precise jump. Alright, well, the hard part's not done yet, because this part sucks. So this snake's fast, you want to jump. Alright, this one has no spikes, so you can chill. Third one is really tricky. Jump, jump again. And then the last one, just jump over one spike. There you go. Now, even though I said the third tunnel's the hardest, this is still tricky, so don't, don't, uh, don't relax just yet. Jump here. Okay, he comes out the same time. This is a this is a really tricky part. Oh, I thought I jumped too early. Yeah, you gotta wait till like the last minute for that guy. This snake's not too bad. And if I do this right, this this will be the last snake you have to deal with in the whole level. Here, all right. All right. So you want to stay up here. You have to wait till the very last minute until his tail is like right about there. Make that jump. Hold left. You can get out of this tunnel early. The trick is make sure you don't over jump that, like you gotta hold left a little bit. Okay, this is the level I'm dreading, and rat race, but we'll deal with it when I get there. There's two one-ups in this level? Alright, this is not the hard part though, this part's pretty standard. These guys die in one hit, I don't know why, but I'll take it. I mean, trust me, this is not the part you're gonna sweat about too much. You know, as far as difficult this game is, I can appreciate the music. Anyway, this one is, comes up shorter. As soon as it comes on the screen, jump. Because that one comes shorter, so as soon as it comes on the screen, jump for it. And then this one's easy. Alright, is this more rats? Yep. Oh! Gotta be careful. Alright, this part's a little annoying. So before you hit them, you want to tap the direction you're facing and hit it. It's weird. I don't I don't know why it works like that. Otherwise, those assholes will insta- <sighs> Really? That's frustrating, losing a life on this part. 
That's really frustrating. It happens. Alright, I think more of those rats are coming up. Alright, so tap right and attack, tap left, tap right, and then tap left and hit. Yep. I don't know why it works. Two more rats, and then that's the end of that. Unfortunately, though, this is the part of the level that makes me want to fucking kill myself. Sorry, my excuse my French. <laughs> oh, if you thought Turbo Tunnel was bad, this is even worse. Not this part, but later on. This isn't too bad. Like, even if you don't have it memorized, you should be able to get through this part, no problem. I hear you want to hold back. It does help to have a memorizer. Right now, you want to start getting closer. Yep, down and then up. That was close. There you go. All right, this part kind of sucks. It's just RNG. I like to stay in the middle because there's a one-up like halfway through this section. Yeah, I like to just stay towards the middle. But again, this is just RNGs. So. The one-up should be, yep, and then once I get the one-up, I go down. Because there's not really many fireballs that come down here, thankfully. When there's one on your altitude, like, then you gotta move up. Alright, th this part sucks, though. You just gotta stay in the middle and hope you somehow can manage. Oh my god, man. I don't know how I'm doing this while commentating. Whoosh! Yeah, this part's very annoying. If you want, you can hug the bottom left, but I want to get the one up. Because if you hug the bottom left, then they won't be able to hit you. I don't know why. Or after the fourth one, there's a one up, so stay up. Okay, I got through that section. Now, this is the hard part. Or is this? Alright, after the fourth one, move up. Ah, I fucked up, yeah. You, ju you just gotta remember how to do this. I forgot for a second. That's fine. Alright, so fourth one, move up and then keep moving down, move up again. Hold back. Third one, move forward. Pull back. Yeah, see, I'm like, because I'm talking, I'm not remembering how to do this. I, I might go quiet, actually. Right, up, down. Right, pull back. They want to. Pull back again. Go forward again. There you go. Alright, now this is the tricky part. I think, right? If you want, you can do it this way. Although, you're gonna have to have some of it memorized. So that one at the top right, when that one, when you get past that one, you're gonna have to pull it back. I'm trying to explain it here on the screen. So that section, when it starts to like go up, like with that, that second to last one where it's at the upper right, you have to pull back and go down. It, it's hard to explain, like... <laughs> anyway, level 8's not that hard, luckily. It's just the boss at the end is probably the hardest boss in this game and is very difficult. So you might lose some lives to the boss, but if you can get through here, there's two lives in this level. So that's brilliant. Also important to grab the stick if you need so. You can hit those balls, but like you can just kind of move past them. Also, if you fall down, then you're just... Alright, this, this is tricky. You just gotta time your jump to the ceiling and like hold left. But most of the time, if you get that one up, you'll probably die anyway, so it's like infinite retries. I right, hear you wanna obviously. Alright, these enemies kinda suck. If you don't have to stick, they're gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright, I just wanna be extra safe. <laughs> oh, this game. I swear to god. Alright, got that. 
basically a free retry, luckily, so it's not the end of the world, but it's still frustrating, nevertheless. Well, now that I'm just sticky, you want to jump towards the middle of that guy? Alright, this part's going to be awful, because these things do that. Oh my god, I'm on 1 HP. There should be a fly coming, like flies coming up soon. Oh my god. Ooh. To uh, duck, you obviously got to duck to. <sighs> yeah, that, that that also happens. It's very frustrating. The double tap. Like I don't mean to double tap, and it just does it anyway. Man, I'm screwing up a lot here. Cause so I'm trying to rush it. Yeah, I just fat fingered and double tapped, so that just cost me two lives, but actually. Alright, this is tricky. As soon as he shoots it, jump and go towards the middle. Right, here's very tricky when you don't have the stick, because the stick you can take out those gas things. So you just gonna have to time it to where the gas comes out and that guy shoots and you want to double sprint and jump up and duck. Trust me, it's not as bad as it looks once you get it down. Alright, there's a free one-up. So after that gas, go and then get the one-up. I would probably go like halfway until they're done because those things will insta-kill you as well and once you get past that, you're basically home free, because this part's not that hard. Actually, this part's annoying. So make sure you get the screen to show. And then once that gas shoots, you gotta just time that, basically. Again, if you have the stick, I think you can kill it. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I would probably do this from the right side, just because of that gas. Come on now, there we go. And here we go, the boss. This boss is very difficult. Ram attack is your best friend, but make sure you are constantly ducking. If you can, try to juggle him, but it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I, I hit double tab, but it just didn't go off for some reason. Yeah, the double tapping is just not the best in this game. I don't know if it's just my PlayStation controller, but like... Yeah, I tried to double tap there. Oh, come on, man! Yeah, that wasn't very pretty, but I still have plenty of lives. I can only earn one more life from a point, and there's two lives in this tunnel, but the uh, level, but the problem is this level is very difficult. Ah, that could have gone a lot better, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, that first guy, you want to make sure you duck as soon as you spawn the level, and then just... I would try to just punch them, because if you ran them and miss your attack, then they just insta-kill you and it's complete garbage. This guy, duck, and then when he comes towards you, just punch. Just keep attacking. This guy will shoot, so wait to jump. And the same thing. Alright, so this level, I think there's one more here. Yep. Yeah, these parts aren't that bad, you just alternate like left, right. Alright. Alright, here you want to sprint. You don't have to on this first one, but might as well. And then just wait here. <clears throat> make sure you ooh, make sure you just hug the walls that are closest to you. Alright, this part can be kinda tricky. You wanna make sure you get a very good at head advantage to sprinting and keeping sure you spam jump through this. Because obviously the water will slow you down. And 
And then here, hug the right, and then hug again, hug the wall closest to you, obviously. Jump here. All right, now we're getting to the hard part of this level. This is this is where the level begins to get very annoying. Yeah, those enemies are very RNG, but if you have the chance to hit them, then hit them. Ooh, that was close. It's basically like, do the enemies feel like being dicks or not? Alright, here I would recommend jumping to the left because the f Ooh. Yeah, those fish, if you don't jump to the left, like if you go from the right side, then they will be after you. Yeah, these things suck, by the way. Anyway, here, just tap once. Make sure you go under that, because it, for some reason, doesn't make them spawn as much. Alright, yeah, these guys are free kills, so just knock them out of the way. Alright, this part, there's gonna be sharks, and the sharks are very ag agitating, so make sure you hit them once. Okay. Because I want that one up, and then got to the checkpoint. This part can be very tricky. What I like to do is fall down, tap once, and then you should be good. Here's a trick if it works, yeah. It's like once you swim down, you just basically get to the left side, and then if you're able to pull that off, then you're basically chilling, because that thing will be ahead of you, and you don't have to worry about it chasing you. Oop. Make sure you hug left there, I almost forgot, actually. Alright, I have no idea how far away this thing is, but we're chilling now. I think we're at the end. Yep, alright. So here, just get your head up above and then get that shark to bait him and you hit him, and then you can get this one up. And guess what, this section, if you die, that one up spawns every time. So this is basically infinite retries as long as you get that one up. It's great. And that's actually the first time I've gone through this level. Like, that's the first time I've gone through that section in one try. That's crazy. Even with commentating, I don't believe it. Don't worry, guys. I'll show you proof that I'm playing. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Anyway, these ducks are evil. You just kind of want to, like, tap the punch button next to them. It'll turn them around, and then you just keep going to town on them. Alright, this part is actually really annoying, so let's see if I can get through this. So the shark, hit him. You're gonna have to hit him again, probably. Oh god, I jumped too early. Yeah, I I shouldn't have... If, if I didn't hit the swim button, that would have been fine. Alright, so again, bay him. It's fine, because infinite retries, which, jeez, this game needed that so badly. Alright, so here you want to make sure you just punch him and then he turns around. You can grind these guys, they're 5k each if you want, but... I mean, by this point in the game you should probably have a lot of points, unless you game over it, obviously, so you lose all your points. Which can be beneficial, I guess, because you can get more lies, but... Oh god, that was a little close. Alright, again, you want to hit that shark. Go, go, go. And then about, yeah, about there. Alright, you hit him one more time and then you can swim for it. I would hug the left side. Just so you can get away from that duck. And then... Don't get too close to that wall because the shark's going to actually be able to hit you, I think, which is very stupid. And then we're at the end. I'm very surprised I got to that level in one with only one death. That's amazing. Terror Tubes is not an easy level. However, though, I'm dreading this fucking level. I'm very much dreading this level, because I hate this level. I think most of you who've played this game will understand. I will go for the rat skip, but if I don't get it, then I'm gonna have to do it legit, so... Yeah, so the gimmick is basically racing three different rats. The first two are easy, but the third one is just pure evil. Let's see if I can get this skip off. I actually got the skip off, that's crazy. So I like to just double tap, like, punch the bomb and then get him 
He had a double tap of ram attack him like two times. That's all I can really say. Alright everyone, so this is actually, uh, I guess you just saw in the video me doing the rat race skip, which I don't pull off consistently, which I'm surprised about. So I'll be showing you how to do it legit. Although, I don't know how much advice I can really give for the third round because it just requires some memorization and practice and honestly perfection, which it makes it kind of annoying to do over and over again. Yeah, the second round's not even a threat, so... Here you want to hug the right just because of those balls. Yeah, now this is the hard part. Alright, so after this one is when he spawns in, so you want to start sprinting and then sprint again and then you'll automatically sprint. Here it's just kind of like every one to two seconds you want to go left and right. And stick to as close as you can to the middle. It's, tr it's tricky, but if you like, as soon as you can change direction, as soon as you get to the edge, so you like stay ahead of him. Alright, this. This is race probably going to catch up to you, so. Oh, messed up a little bit there. Oh no. Oh my god, yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, there's really no point. So, that's unfortunate. <sighs> that's what I mean by this part. This, this, that's why I was so happy to get the rat skip off, because I hate doing this third rat. And that's not even like the annoying, I mean, it is the annoying part. There is... Unfortunately, the level's not over once you beat the rat. No, sir. I'm screwing up a lot already. Alright, now he's probably gonna catch up to you here, so... It's normal, but we're about... Oh, this could be... It. Yeah, unfortunately that last part's kind of orange if you get shocked enough, but that's not the end of the level because there's a boss. Because why not? Alright, so this guy, he's just kind of standing there so you can constantly ram into him until he's like, starts moving. It's a really strange boss. Unfortunately, we missed time you're rammed and that happens because this game's a crock of shit. Alright, now he's moving, and when he starts moving, you want to hit him from behind. Just make sure you're not under him, or he'll crush you. Yeah, the trick is just constantly hit him from behind. Oop, I don't know how that didn't crush me. Looks like I found a trick. Okay, yeah, when he gets fast like that, he'll. When you ram him, you should be safe. You want to get him to this speed, and he'll keep doing that, so you'll be safe every time you ram into him. Just like that. So basically, wait for him to go to the side when he comes back, hit him from here, and then just keep rinse and repeating. Oop. I'm probably gonna die, yeah. Because, like, ugh, the stupid double tap. Alright, there we go, we got him at least. So, yeah, that's Rat Race legit. I probably didn't give the best advice, but. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, back to the video. Ah, there's not much advice I can give on this level, but. I'm playing on a monitor, so I don't know how much input latency is, but I like to wait till the very last second to change directions. It doesn't slow you down as much, because if you do it too early, then that's way more detrimental, but I like to just wait till the very last second, like about when it's literally about to change. You kind of have to get a feel for it, and also depends what you're playing on, either a monitor or a CRT, but... 
Also helps to have this part memorized. Like, I know to turn left here, I'm pretty sure, yep. Like, this level's not that hard if you, like... I can understand why it was, it's very difficult, but like, compared to Rat Race... It's just, yeah. Oh god, I slowed down a lot there, yeah. I'm actually close to the end, so let's see if I did well enough. I'm pretty far ahead. Yeah, unfortunately there's just really no advice I can give on this level other than you just gotta practice your timing. And it also depends what you're playing on. And wow, I actually beat that in one try, but now you gotta fight the boss, which... He's not that bad, but he's very, you know, alright. You want to wait for him to circle onto this side, and then... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Under, like that. Like, I was trying to punch him like this. It's just... I don't know. It's very goofy, y'all. Uh. But once you do that, then you can, like, infinitely combo him. So once he lands, ram attack him, and then punch him. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm not doing the combo right here. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, this boss is very obnoxious. It's... It's really stupid, but it's what... It is what it is. I'm trying to... Oh. Yeah, when he does that, you want to, like... There we go. Just want to get as close as you can to him and then punch him, but I'm trying to pick him up. Wow. I mean, it's working, but I'm trying to show the strategy that I normally use. Alright, there we go. And then, like, get to the third arrow. Let him land, then ram him, punch him. There we go. I hit that way too early. That works, yeah, sorry I couldn't really pull off the strategy, but that's basically what you want to do. Just get to that third arrow on the, like, left side, just throw him when he lands, ram him, punch him. However, though, this is a level I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, these enemies suck, so now I can't get any more lives. Alright, there's gonna be a spike here, so obviously, you gotta, like, m I would wait here. Until, like, they all spawn in. Because you will die, unfortunately. Oh, uh, there's gonna be another rhino enemy. So you just kind of wait for them to attack like that, and then <sighs> yeah. But if you miss, then they hit you. Yeah, these guys suck. Fuck you. All right. Anyway, make sure you hold on to the goddamn stick, and I will explain why later. Also, doesn't help. This level has only two checkpoints. So you really gotta... I think there's another enemy here, yep. Alright, yeah, I think the next enemy, that you, the yellow rhino that comes across, is gonna take four hits. Okay, here you just wanna run to the left, and then you should be fine. Oh yeah, this guy, I think this guy takes four hits for some reason. Yep, okay. I think after this is the checkpoint. No, it's not. So I can ram him. What? Ah, this game is bullshit, I swear, sometimes. Not sometimes, all the time. Okay. Yeah, if you can just hit him with the stick, then you're good. I'm just trying to get to the checkpoint, because I think... Yeah, this is the checkpoint, cool. Alright, so now, yeah, you want to be really careful. As soon as he closes his mouth, then you can go for the kill, because he will insta-kill you, you, if he eats you whole, like Kirby. I think there's another one here, yep. Just gotta wait, then go in for the kill. So that was the first checkpoint at the bottom. Okay, this part is ass. If it is a stick, this is really not that bad. Because for some reason, when you hit these guys with a stick, 
it stops them from moving. Which helps for the next part, because the next part is really tough without a stick. So you hit one. Alright, they're not moving now, so that's good. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what I... <sighs> I don't... <laughs> that's unfortunate. I gotta do without the stick, but you know what, them... I'm just burning all my lies on this level. Yeah, this level is honestly the hardest level in the game for me. It is, it's so horrible. It's so tough. So many things can insta-kill you. It's insane. It's just so unfair. Yeah, this part is really awful. Alright, I like to ram to him. Because he's facing the platform. This one's moving, so you can kind of like... Oh my god. Right here, when they go in the middle, like you want to keep moving. And keep your eye on the top of the screen. There's really just not much advice I can give for that. It's just... Like, you can stay in the middle, they won't hit you. But you gotta keep moving like small. You gotta keep moving like very tiny, I guess. Oh my god, this guy's an asshole. Yeah, for some reason, this guy takes so many hits... But your best bet is to just try and ram him before he wraps around the screen, but it's not as easy as it looks. Like... Yeah, I would rather ram him than, like, ram him on the opposite side, so... Like that, you want to ram him before he can get to the other side of the tower. Because unfortunately I don't have a stick. So... Ah, I missed it. Yeah. It's probably your best bet in killing that guy, if you don't have the stick. Alright, there you want to wait, and then time your jump for the spike. Come on, man! Ugh, I hate when that happens. Alright, this part is difficult, because once you jump, it'll move to the left, so you need to... Another spike here. You gotta make sure you like hold the right, or left. I think God, I'm trying. To, it's so hard to talk and do this. <laughs> trying here, guys. All right, this part is ass because you can easily clip through these springs. Just gotta wait for them to line up. God, yeah, it doesn't help that the controls are like very floaty and slippery. I think one more jump. Yep, and that happened. Ugh, this is stupid, dude. It's very stupid. What can I say? I was at the checkpoint, too, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Gotta go through all this again. I mean, I think the hardest part is with those bubble clouds, because they insta kill you. Yeah, this part's the hardest part, easily. Because these assholes insta kill you. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? That's fine. He's facing the other direction! Jesus Christ. Yeah, this part's ass. Alright, well, I got through that, so... Oh my god, I forgot he can do that, too. He just spawns out of nowhere. Jerk. Yeah, these green guys are awful, but I... Not as bad as the orange ones. <sighs> Also, the hit detection isn't the greatest, because like, if, if, it feels like if you don't hit it in time, then you just fucking miss. Well, then that wouldn't be a problem with the hit detection. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm hitting it too early, I think, but it's fine, as long as... This guy does two damage, so if you have a full bar, you can only take three hits. Alright. I think this is the part that spikes. Yep. So, jump, and then... It's not clipped. It. <sighs> yeah. I think you have to hold the jump bungs. I don't know what it is about clipping through those springs. Okay, I almost forgot about that spike. You just kind of have to know he's there, unfortunately. I guess I'm going to try holding the jump bung all the way, because I don't know. Maybe if you let go of it too early, it just makes you clip to the spring for some reason. 
Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'll just everything. Anyway. Well, we're back to this part again. I just don't know what the deal is with these goddamn springs. God. Yeah, the controls in this game it's just. Ugh. That's all I'm gonna say. I think you just have to, like, line up with the spring. Yeah, maybe that's the trick. Alright, this, this is tricky here. There we go. Alright, spike. Jump now. Oh, I jumped too early. Oh! Yeah, do not jump there. I always forget about that, but thank god, because that's an, that's an insta kill right there. Because we're almost at the checkpoint, I believe. Yeah, I think we're at the checkpoint now. Second checkpoint. So you want to wait for that first platform to spawn, and then, yeah. You just want to jump all the way up. Not that bad. Just make sure you keep spam jumping, though. No? Alright, this part... I think I have to jump on the spring, and then there's going to be a... Yep, okay. So just time your jump for the pole. Do not touch anything around the pole. Do not touch anything, because you'll fall off, I guess. Alright, here we got a time to jump, I think. Yep. More of these assholes. Alright, is this... Oh shit, this is another lining up the platform bullshit. Alright, I think this is another... Yep. I'm trying to... God, I hate these fucking enemies so much, man. I'm trying to hit him with the sticks, so he stops moving. There we go. Yeah, because I, I, I only have one more hit. Again, grab onto the pole. You just gotta line up your jump, basically, with that. Okay, this is a tricky jump. Do it like now. Yeah, that was a little early, but it works. Alright, another one. This is a tricky, tricky jump. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Alright, well, it's like right there. Then we gotta get to that spring. Oh god, alright. This is where the yellow cloud spawns in, I think. Once you jump, the yellow cloud, so keep going to the left on this part. Just keep going to the left, and then here is left, right, left, right, I think. Yeah, this cloud is a pain in the ass. You can get them around to the other side. Left, right, nope. Yeah, he... Fuck's sake, bro. Oh. So I guess you want to rotate the first spring and then you want to just go for it before you can even... Probably just going to cut when I get back to there because I'm not doing this a hundred times or showing you guys this a hundred times. Up back again to attempt this, so let's see how it goes. Also doesn't help that you can just clip through the platforms because why not? Okay, we're on the last part. There we go, we got it, we got it, we got it, alright. Thank god. Yeah, if you don't time your hit right, you can hit her during the tornado, but if you don't time it right, then yeah, that happens. Oh, 
Also, the use it continued, then you start from here, thankfully. Nope. Ah! I'm not great at this boss fight, but it's not... Because, again, it involves double tapping, because I hate the double tapping in this game, or it's just my controller, I don't know. Wow. That's all you re Ugh, Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm not doing great on this, but... Looks like I have lives to spare, so... Yeah, she is sucky, bro. That's what I mean, dude. Like, the double tapping is just so annoying to pull off most of the time. There's really no other advice I can give than to just constantly ram her. Oh, sh Oh, I did it! Wow. I actually just beat this game without using continues. That's fucking amazing. Just don't stay in the middle when you kill her. With that, you have beaten the battle toads. Sorry, I couldn't really give, like, the best advice. I hope I gave some helpful tips, or at least this was entertaining to watch because... God damn, I'm so proud that I beat this game without having to use continues just now. I can safely say though, this game is not as hard compared to Ghosts and Goblins though. And I don't know if I'll ever be doing Ghosts and Goblins on this channel. Maybe one day if I have time, because like I said, I just record whatever I can in my spare free time. And maybe I'm actually playing the Battletoads Double Dragon at the moment. I've never played it, so yeah, maybe I'll do that too if you guys want. And with that, I have concluded Battletoads.